in this problem, we are given the acceleration versus time graph, and we are asked to figure out what the velocity versus time graph is and what our position versus time graph is. Now, for this acceleration graph, we have two different curves. So we have some form of erratic motion. From 0 to 30 seconds, our acceleration is given by the equation a is equal to 0 0.0 one t squared where t is time and then from 30 to 60 seconds our acceleration is given by 15 meters per second squared and it's constant now in order to figure out this problem and to draw these graphs we need to look at what's happening between 0 and 30 seconds for velocity and time or in position and we have to look at what's happening between 30 and 60 seconds for velocity and position. So when we have t is equal to 0 to 30 seconds, and we look at our acceleration, we have our acceleration is equal to 0 0.01 t squared. Now, the relationship we have for acceleration, we know that acceleration is equal to dv dt. And this acceleration is a function of time, so we need to integrate. We can't use any other type of ways of figuring out what our velocity is. And so we're going to move this dt to the other side of the equation, and we'll get 0.01t squared dt is equal to dv. Now we need to figure out what our bounds of integration are. So let's look at our bounds of integration. Well, we're starting at zero seconds and we're going to some velocity v and i also want to keep this as a t i want to create an expression for velocity so then i can then work with that expression to get the distance traveled performing this integral what i'll get is this is 0 0.01 t cubed over three and with all the limits uh, it stays like this and this is equal to v so right now this is my expression for velocity this is a cubic term and let's look at what this looks like a little bit so 0 0.01 i need to graph in terms of x so this is a, a cubic term and it's really flat after the origin, really flat, and then goes up. It will figure out what this distance is, or what this velocity is. To figure out what this velocity is, all we do is we say, all right, this is zero, so at 30 seconds, this is going to be 0 0.01. 30 cubed over 3, and this is equal to 90. This means our velocity at 30 seconds is 90 meters per second. All right, so we figured out what Our velocity is from 0 to 30 seconds. Now we need to look at from 30 to 60 seconds. And with our acceleration, our acceleration is now just equal to 15. I'm going to go through the same steps. I'm still going to use the expression. My acceleration is equal to dv dt. Because I'm not starting at 0 with a constant acceleration, I really should perform the integration and use the bounds of integration. So my 15 dt is equal to dv. My bounds of integration here, okay, I'm still going from 0 to some time t, and I'm going from 0, uh, I'm not going from 0, I'm going from 30 to some time t, and for velocity, I'm going from 90 to some velocity v. 
And this will be 15 T evaluated from T to 30 is equal to V evaluated from V to 90. If we evaluate this, these uh, bounds, we get 15 T minus 30 times 15 is equal to V minus 90. So now my velocity is going to be equal to 15 T minus 30 times 15, which is 450. So minus 450 plus 90 is minus 360. So this is the straight line that I get for velocity. I get a straight line and I still need to figure out what the magnitude of this line is when it's evaluated at 60 seconds. So at 60 seconds, my velocity is 15 times 60 minus 360 And I get this is equal to 540 meters per second. So this value right here is 540 meters per second. All right, now that we did our velocity, what we need to do is we need to figure out our position out all these times. Let's underline the expression we have for velocities. And these are the expressions that need to get integrated when we're looking at our positions. So for position of zero to 30 seconds, the first thing I need to do, first, what expression do I have? I know my, my velocity is equal to dx dt. So I need to integrate this velocity equation with respect to time. 0 0.01 t cubed over 3 dt is equal to dx. Let's find our bounds of integration. Well, this one is starting from 0. So we're going to go from 0 to x. And here we're going to go from 0 to t. We need to perform this integral. What we get is 0 0.01 t to the 4 divided by 3 times 4 is 12. And this is in, evaluated from t to 0. All my terms have t in it, so that 0 term just is nothing. And this is equal to x. x minus 0, which is just x. Now this right here is my expression for my position. Let's look at what this expression evaluates to at 30 at 30 seconds. So at 30 seconds, I'm going to have 0 0.01, 30 to the 4, divided by 12. And this is equal to 675 meters. Now this is a power that's to the fourth, so it has the same shape as a square term, same characteristic shape. And we'll go here, and at this point, this is 675. Now that we figured out where we are at 30 seconds, we need to look at what's happening between 30 and 60 seconds. And here our velocity is going to be 15t minus 360. So we still need to use the relationship v is equal to dx dt. And what I can do is move the dt over to the other side when I equate it to uh, my velocity. And I'll have my 15t minus 360 dt is equal to dx. And we need to figure out these bounds of integration. So the bounds of integration, I'm going from 30 to sometime t. And I'm going from at 30, I'm at 675 to some position x. 
Okay, let's perform this, and what I get is this is 15 t squared over 2 minus 360 t, and this is evaluated from t to 30, and this is going to be equal to x, which is evaluated from x to 675. If we evaluate this, we get 15 t squared over 2 minus 360t minus 15 times 30 squared over 2 minus 360 times 30 is equal to x minus 675. Let's simplify this expression and we'll have 15 t squared over 2 and then this will be minus 360t plus 4,725. And that is my position x. So if we evaluate x at 60 seconds, this is going to be equal to 15 times 60 squared over 2 minus 360 times 60 plus 4,725. And we get this is 10,125 meters. When we draw this, this is very high up. Uh, so I should redraw this whole, this whole curve just a little bit. 675 at the beginning, that just should be way lower. And we get to 675, and then we get up to here, and this is 10,125 meters. So now we know these are two different these are two different functions. This function is given by the expression 15t squared minus 360t plus 4,725. This function right here is given by the expression 0.01t to the fourth over 12. So now we've graphed both the velocity versus time chart and the position versus time chart for this acceleration versus time that was given.